Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. In today's video, we're going to learn about how to create this clevis without ever creating a sketch by using the shell command. So let's take a look. So we're going to learn how to use the shell command to simplify our designs. So you can see in this clevis drawing, uh, we have a shape and it has equal wall thickness all the way around. So I'm going to use this drawing to create this clevis. So let's take a look and start by creating a box primitive. And like I mentioned, I'm actually not going to create any sketches to design this. So according to the drawing, the box is 2.5 in length and uh, 2 inches in depth and um, two and a half in height. So just starting with a box primitive. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, fillet on the side, which is a radius of one, and a chamfer on the other side, uh, which also is a distance of one. So I'm gonna just type in one. So we have kind of our basic shape right here. Uh, there's a couple fillets on the bottom, so again, I'm pre-selecting my edge and right mouse clicking, so it allows me to see the commands that make sense, in this case, the fillet command, and these are 0.5 um, for the radius. So using just a box primitive, I pretty much created the overall shape of this, and now I'm going to use the shell command. So it's asking for faces or body. And you'll notice one of the options is tangent chain. So if I click on this face right here, you'll see it's going to select all of these faces, but it didn't select this face because it's not tangent to it. So I'm going to go ahead and control my selection and hold down my control key and add those two faces in there. And now when I start to drag, you can visually see what's happening. So we created this part very quickly using the shell command. So 0.375, I'll say OK, and there's our basic shape. Now some of you probably were thinking, well, you might start with this shape on a sketch, you know, draw the, the shape, extrude that the correct distance, and then come in and add your fillet and chamfer, and you totally could do that. Um, but just starting with a box and shelling it out, you get this result. Then all I have to do is come in and add the holes. So I'll just create the hole command. And you can see um, there's two little white dots. And this dot here is the center of the radius on here. So I'm just going to snap it right there and type in the correct size hole, which is 0.75. And we want that to go all the way through. I'll say OK. And I'll repeat my last command just by dragging straight up. We'll do the same thing on this face here. I'll just drag that blue dot until I see that white dot, which is in the center of that face. And type in the correct size for that, 375. And all the way through. And we are now completely done with this clevis with just a couple commands, and I didn't have to create a sketch. While we're on the topic of shell, I wanted to show one of the new functionalities in the shell command. So I have this part here, I've kind of like sliced through it so you can kind of see inside. I'm going to go ahead and say shell, and you'll notice there's a new option in here. The original one was sharp shell, and then the other one is rounded shell. So if I were to come in here and shell these faces, well, let's just do um, like 0.2 in this case, 0.25. You'll notice that all of the edges are sharp, but if I click on the rounded shell, it goes through and does the external corners to be rounded. Um, I'll go ahead and add the uh, end faces so it's hollow, hollow all the way through. And now you can see that new functionality. So there's the standard shell and then rounded shell. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, 
All I ask is that you give the video a thumbs up and share or repost the video with others in your network. This will help spread the knowledge of Fusion out to the community. If you have any comments or ideas for future topics, please reach out to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.